you. I'm Whitney Anderson. And I'm Samantha Phoenix. And we're Calm Radio. We want to welcome you today for our second episode of Getting Real with Whitney and Samantha. Today's topic is going to be about the state of allowing. I, mean, I think that's a great topic. I think about this a lot because, you know, everything that happens in our life, we have to, we must allow it to happen. Be it positive, exactly. a negative, a, a, you know, a non-relevant, a relevant, everything that is upon us is because we've allowed it to be there. Exactly. And, and we've allowed it to exist in our world. And that's, Everything in your world is something you've allowed to be in your world. So Exactly. And everything that's not there that you want is because you haven't allowed it to be there by aligning with it yet. That's exactly right. You've not manifested it in your mind yet. And that's 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 where we need to go. And that that's a, our the subject of our conversation today. The and state of allowing. Absolutely. So we were talking about what kind of got us going down this little rabbit hole earlier was we, you were talking about people respecting each other. And um, we kind of got to the point about how it's it ultimately is all about what we allow, you know, and allowing each other to just be our own individual unique selves, allowing others to be as we be. You know? Exactly. We be uh, ourselves, let others be themselves. Yeah, I mean, no one has a right to tell us uh, who we are, who we should be, who we should not be, uh, you know, how we should do things or view things. Uh, it, but at the same, by the same definition, you know, we sh- should not be allowed to impose upon others you know, what they believe and what they feel as well. So we should allow other people to just be mm-hmm. as other people allow us to be. Exactly. That's the whole principle of the namaste, you know. You know, I I, I accept the God, Spirit, the Source in you as I accept the Source in myself. Well, I, that's... You know, I guess that's that pretty much sums it up right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't think of it. I, what what can you add to that? Well, when uh, it comes that, to people, that is the ultimate state of allowing. You know, it, just it allow others to be. And honestly, if you are in the right space in your own vibration, if you attune to a higher vibrational level that you want to experience, if you align yourself with that vibration of experience, then the people that are not in that zone are really not going to be around you anyway. You're going to be following your own state of allowance, and they'll be wherever they've chosen to be stuck or whatever until they choose to move forward. And that's really the way it is. And again, allow. You just have to allow people to be stuck when they're wanting to be stuck. And then allow them to move on if they're ready to move on. Some people, some people don't want people to be unstuck. That's exactly the way it is. And so, again, you have to just allow people to do what is best in their own path of their experience. And everyone knows where they are at all times. I mean, when it comes down to it, we know exactly where we are. We know what we need to get out of where we are. Or we know what we need to just continue the ladder from where we are. We know these things. We just have to open up to it and allow ourselves the the dignity and gratitude that we owe ourselves to, to grow with this. Well, see, here's something I've been feeling and learning and, and experiencing lately. When we connect ourselves with our source, when we are truly in, in an alignment with that source of ourself, when we're listening, when we're, and I've always been really good at getting the, the intuitive, you know, those intuitive hunches, you know, those little nudges of this and that, you know, those feelings to do something a little different, impulses to, you know, I've always followed those things. I've always trusted 
in those things. I didn't realize the source was quite what it is, but either way, I trusted in it, so it worked. It doesn't really matter what you're trusting in. If you, if you know it works and you trust in it, it works, period. That's how things work. That's just how it works here. That is the magic of the earth we live in. Well, absolutely. It, it works because we allow it to work. If we allow it to work. That's exactly As we right. allow it to work. <laughs> Again, it's about what we allow. We can allow things to be a very stifled perception that we live in to where this world is horrible and everyone in it is horrible. And it, the best thing for for us personally is that everyone else except for the few people that we really love and dig having around just disappear off the face of the planet and the earth. Oh, absolutely. And that's like everyone's ultimate answer to how how everything could be perfectly happy. Yes. If you think about it, it, it the yeah. majority. Let's 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 say the majority. Get and rid I, of everyone that doesn't think the way I think. Or or just doesn't fit into whatever makes me happy, period. And, you know, I will admit that there was a time that I kind of would have bought into that, too, and have bought into that kind of, you know what, if I was just about the only person in existence, then none of this would matter. And the truth is, we all are one anyway, so we really are just one in existence, but we are these individual fragments and pieces of a whole that each collect our own experience in whatever way we choose. But if we really start to choose to connect with that source and then choose the things that make us feel good, if it doesn't feel good, it's not in alignment with that source. So you're not allowing yourself to achieve that highest essence of the entire experience. And that's exactly the way it works. I mean, as soon as as soon as you learn this, as soon as as soon as one learns this and adheres to it and realizes that this is this is just something huge. Uh, when you realize that it's okay to allow great things to happen in your life great things will happen in your life exactly and when you choose to allow really bad crappy things in your life really bad crappy things are going to be in your life that's true and uh, i mean it's we everything in our life is here because we allow it I mean, there's just no no getting around that it, I think I talked about it earlier in a different show when it when everything comes what everything comes down to is is everything that I've done that everything that's in front of me is because of me in some way shape form or fashion mm -hmm. you know it's not you know anything that someone else has done to me or knew about me or, or said about me or anything like that. It's just everything that I've allowed, everything that I've allowed to happen has happened. And I choose to allow wonderful, great things to happen in my life, you know. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with that. Absolutely. And, you know, there again, that kind of goes into the allowance and the law of attraction, when we allow ourselves to align with the vibration of what we want instead of what we don't want and to feel everything as if we already have it instead of feeling the lack of it and which is something that you know we were talking about earlier that I've been dealing with some of the some of the things you know I know I'm I'm an extremely blessed person but I'm still working on the flow in my abundance financially in some ways. It's there to a certain extent, but not to the extent that I want it to be, you know, mm -hmm. because the more I have in that flow, the more I can do with that flow. And there's a lot of things that I've been wanting to do. And I'm like, okay, well, everything in its moment, you know, if we were ready to do these things, I know it would be there. So I'm just going to handle everything in this moment and, and go from there. So, you know, I've been keeping it on that positive level. So, and I've been telling you, I've been feeling the momentum building in a lot of ways. And the more I just kind of leave it alone and focus on all of the things that I am allowing 
and and I am seeing all the the wonderful, you know, fruits of, and I just focus on all of those things that are really satisfying in my life, and allow that to be where my vibration takes me, then those other things just work themselves out in so many different ways, and when it comes to finances, it's not just about it's not just about those credits and that paper, those paper bills, because there's so many different values that people put on different things, like the trade for work instead, you know, you trade, or the trade of, you know, you've got a skill, somebody else has a skill, and so you, you trade, you know, you swap something, you Exactly, know? you allow someone to use your, to borrow your skills. Exactly, and you know, I have a lot of knowledge, I have a lot of skills, I have a lot of talents, I have a lot of abilities, I have a lot of a lot of gifts to offer just in being who I am. And absolutely you in do. learning to appreciate that, then I'm learning to not limit that flow to specific tasks that I perform or, you know, like the schedule that I do when I'm working, like when I'm doing my corporate travel stuff, you know, those kind of things. Right. That that's kind of like guaranteed stuff coming in the bank, which is awesome because right. it, it's do it's it's definitely been gratefully providing for many many wonderful things, you know, and all of these things that I've got going on, it's been awesome. But at the same time, you know, it's about that allowing that flow I, again, allowing just allowing it all to just flow on its own instead of having the mentality like if I don't put the work into it it's not going to flow because right. all all I really have to do is allow it to flow and then the work's going to be there for me to do absolutely <laughs> and well, maybe maybe in some ways that's what it is it's like well I'm already doing all of this work over here I don't want to be doing all this work over here too yeah <laughs> But sometimes when we open up and we allow that to happen, we get we get other blessings too. That is true. See, that's just it. That is the flow. They just start spilling, you know. And I I do know that that I have like this extreme buildup of vibrational currency. I know that. Absolutely. So, so you know, I am learning to at least figure out how to withdraw. You know, make a withdrawal here and there. So that I can just allow it to be. And, you know, at least so much. And as, like, things will just kind of work themselves out when un unexpected expenses have occurred lately. Then they just also sort of work themselves out. Okay. You know, where I didn't really, I haven't really had to do anything for them to work out other than, like, maybe be present in some way. Isn't that amazing? It Isn't has that been pretty amazing, amazing how that works? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. I'm so glad to hear that that's that's working for you. Well, it's I mean, it's I feel in many ways that path of of understanding how as we get out of our own way and we allow, you know, we allow the universe to to just set the path and that's what I do every day. I ask the universe to just enlighten me and and illuminate my path of and I and I always ask for the path of least resistance now. Just illuminate my path of least resistance oh, that's a to, wonderful, to the are, experiences that I truly want to have. Those are that's a wonderful chosen uh, mantra, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. affirmation, yeah, or and, whatever however you want to use it. It's and in that, I'm allowing the beautiful. universe to create that path for me, so I can just follow it. Right, and it makes it. It makes it so much easier. And the things that do kind of get me hung up where I, I feel like I have some or need or require some control in those situations, I'm, I'm learning to ease up on those too and just let certain things be. I can do my part, whatever that is. I, I, I totally understand. I, I, I get caught up in the same thing, Samantha. I mean, there's there's a lot of times I could I could things could go a totally different way than they actually uh, go now. Let's just say, two years ago, I may not have handled the same situations the way I may handle them today. 